chayo best you know la yukallifu la la wasa ba what's happened now we see dunya has been glorified mm-hmm. however be balanced you know yeah. because uh, our main target our objective goal is al akhirah yeah barakallahu so, fikum but that doesn't mean you should negate the dunya, the dunya. it could be uh, down to like okay can i su- su- being successful is can i provide for my family can I alleviate the pressure from my 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 father to 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 work? Maybe he's an old age, so <coughs> I can I can take that burden on myself. Uh, you know, responsibility. Do am I looking to get married? Do I have the sufficient resources to get married? Mm-hmm. Have that balance. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, don't hide in the background. Come and you maybe show show the, you know, the next generation, the next you know Muslim youth. Alhamdulillah, yeah. that these things can be done in legitimate legitimate ways. Uh, perhaps even in you know uh, joining us in maybe some of these uh, youth career days that we do, and and give advice on those steps that they took and the route. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Guests, uh, welcome again um, to the um, the truth be told, and uh, we have some uh, very interesting guests here today. And we're going to be talking about um, the youth, um, the the things affecting the youth in today's society, um, in London and in general. And it's going to be a very interesting conversation, I hope. Uh, sure. So again, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, brother Shamsi and brother Ahmed. How are you doing? Alaykum salam. I'm doing good. Alhamdulillah. How are you, Akhid Ahmed? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, very good. Alhamdulillah. Nice to nice, nice to have you again. And obviously, brother Ahmed, nice to nice to have you. Alhamdulillah. Um, alhamdulillah. So. Interesting, uh, interesting topics to discuss today. I've got uh, a number of questions that uh, I want to I want to get through. Uh, so I think we just start with the with the with introductions. And uh, I think uh, obviously Ahmed, uh, if you want to maybe uh, kind of just briefly introduce yourself and your, um, um, you know. Alhamdulillah. Um, Jazakallah yeah. khairi. Thank you for having me. Uh, so my name is Ahmed Ahmed Hassan Ahmed Abu Aisha, uh, as, as as known by many. Perhaps um, Alhamdulillah. Obviously, I've been connected to, to Masjid Dar Sunnah right. and the local Shepherd's Bush community for uh, as long as Dar Sunnah has existed, but also I've been in and around Shepherd's Bush for about 15, uh, 15, 15 years, over 15 years, Alhamdulillah. Um, I've always lived around uh, the area of Shepherd's Bush uh, and Alhamdulillah, um, my involvement generally has always been focused on the youth, mm-hmm. um, having experience in that as a youth mentor and also a football coach uh, for long years uh, before uh, before even Dar Sunnah was open, so Alhamdulillah, um, helping the Dawah, helping the brothers, um, you know, in in that in that um, on that side of things, that's yeah. that's what I, my, my involvement has been generally. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, that's 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 very good. A lot of a uh, lot of areas to cover cover there. So um, I think I think I'll save uh, the introduction for Shamsi because I think you, <laughs> you've already introduced yourself. So <laughs> so welcome wel- welcome back welcome back as well. Um, so um, so yeah so so Ahmed uh, I think um, let's let's get into it. Uh, so um, tell us a little bit about um, you know Typo um, the, um, the the youth puzzle organization and then and and what, what kind <coughs> of um, work you're doing there and um, and some of the some of the things that you're so helping the youth with. So now, alhamdulillah, I mean, the Youth Puzzle Organization, um, it's just, uh, you know, you've got to have something um, that you work under in terms of a name, uh, you know, logistics. Uh, but alhamdulillah, it's, it's something, like I said, I've been doing for about, I think since when I first began doing works in the area, it was 2000 and 2007, 2008, <clears throat> and it began as, you know, simple football coaching, mm. um, lo- coaching, you know, local youth from the area of White City, Shepherds yeah. Bush area. Um, as I went to Phoenix High School myself, which was down the road uh, mm. from from the masjid where the masjid location is, um, and obviously, alhamdulillah, after leaving high school, that was something that I was interested in. Yeah, um, doing that in my work experience as well, and I got into it from there, from uh, football coaching, and then went on to, like I said, um, with the needs that come mm. working with youth, you see them in different, uh, you know, the different issues that they go with, uh, that they go through maybe at home, uh, at yeah. school. Bullying, um, struggles of school, particularly from. So this is like a wide uh, age age range, really. It was a wide age range, yeah. The way yeah. As, as it began, it was a wide um, age range, and Alhamdulillah, yeah. is, uh, from that it led on to you know time after time, year after year, um, developing and learning myself, you know, in 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 that in that in that area of, of football and a football coach developed more, you know, start learning, studying, mm-hmm. in terms of um, you know the, the youth and how it could help them more. Um, and alhamdulillah, you know, worked with a few different um, 
uh, organizations at the time yeah <coughs> to get you know the uh, necessary certification and to get training and to learn uh, a bit more about uh, youth you know w- working with youth and yeah because i guess them. the different uh, different age groups um, represent different challenges i guess definitely <laughs> definitely and of course teenagers yeah. are very no, no, difficult definitely, definitely, yeah no definitely i, th- I think um for me it was learning on the job you know as okay. they say learning on the job so obviously the older that i got you know the older the age group that i was able to work with got as well so yeah. um at the beginning it was just um you know up to maybe when, when i first started it was up to maybe year year nine mm-hmm. and, and 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 downwards um obviously the older that i got the more experience that i had yeah the more understanding that i had of uh, the youth issues and how i could help them you know the more uh, the age groups that uh, that i worked with uh, got higher uh, mm. And from there, it, you know, like I said, where we are today, the Youth Puzzle Organization, um, as obviously the organization and the name, alhamdulillah, we do lots of works. And yeah. Inshallah. Yeah, we'll get we'll get we'll get we'll, 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 yeah, we'll get we'll get into, into that. that. I mean, that that's that's um, that's 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 very nice. And I mean, I guess I, I was gonna just just touch with uh, with, with, with with Shamsi upon um, how do you feel the, the contribution as 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 um, as has helped uh, from uh, Brother Ahmed in terms of the youth that come to the Masjid and uh, Masjid Dar al Sunnah uh, and how yeah. have you seen the effects of it? Yeah, and, yeah, uh, of course. Alhamdulillah. I mean, uh, may Allah reward our Brother Ahmed. Mashallah, he does uh, a lot of good things for the for the, the the community for the Masjid. Mashallah, he's been doing it for a long time, as he has mentioned. And uh, now you can see the effects, you know, alhamdulillah. So what happened for people to understand? We have we have madrasa, mm. okay. So Ahmed, mashallah, has been with the, the 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 youth since they've been coming to the madrasa. Maybe from the age of nine, ten, mm-hmm. you know, all the way to seventeen, eighteen. He's always mashallah mm-hmm. in contact with them, mashallah tabarakallah. Even if they go off, you know, but he's always in contact with them, try to help them. And this is our duty as a masjid, try to help the shabab, especially in this time. Yeah. In the time of a lot of fitan, you know, you don't want uh, young brothers. Recently, me and uh, brother Ahmed and uh, Jamal Abu Kanza, uh, alhamdulillah, there was like a football match or something. Yeah, and they invite yeah. us. It's workshop, no, okay, yeah, nice, yeah, it's nice. like a workshop. Yeah. So after football match, we went, me and Abu Kanza, give a little, like a little <laughs> nasiha advice to our young brothers, you know. Yeah. So, mashallah, you can see it, mashallah, may Allah bless him, you know. And this is something which is very needed. That's yeah. why in the community, especially in the masjid, you need the young brothers, yeah. you know, who are in charge. Who are helping p- mm. the, the community, you know, because uh, when the young people come to the masjid and they see everyone's old, of course we need our elders as well, you know, to advise us and to give us, you know, nasiha, uh, you know, barakallah fiikum. But you need the young brothers; they can relate to them. They can more, relate yeah. to barakallah fiikum, yeah. so, you know. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I guess the next thing I wanted to ask is like, um, I guess from an Islamic perspective, then. Like, what what is the why is it so important to f- to uh, to focus on the youth and to maybe cultivate the youth? Like, maybe you can give us. That's the hadi. Barakallah. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, mm. That's the hadi of Al Mustafa alayhi salatu wasalam. Al Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. He had great uh, or he focused on the shabab. Mm. You know, uh, when you look at uh, Musab bin Umair. Yeah. Uh, he was, I think, 18 years old. Mm. So the majority of Sahaba, they were very young. Yeah, yeah. Abdullah ibn Abbas, Abdullah ibn Umar, uh, yeah. Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As. Ali you know, the yeah. shabab, the young, the youth are the, the future of this ummah. Mm-hmm. As the Sheikh Saleh al-Fawzan, may Allah preserve, he mentioned, he said, you need a shabab because this ummah needs shabab. So we, that's why the, uh, Islam, the enemies of Islam, they, they focus on uh, shabab to, to misguide the shabab. Yeah. You know, so the shabab like the pillar of uh, uh, of uh, this deen, meaning to help the deen, uh, subhanAllah. So Islamically, even let's go back to uh, uh, let's go back to the Quran, the story of Ashabul Kahf. Yeah, the people of the cave, the people of cave, <coughs> they were they were young. Fitia, they were shabab, young. Yeah, you know, subhanAllah. So uh, Alhamdulillah, the deen of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, uh, focus on shabab, as I've mentioned, because the shabab are the future of this ummah. So when you have shabab who are aware of this deen and aware what is happening around them and they learn the deen and they're strong, then alhamdulillah the ummah will be strong. Yeah. You know? But no, that's very, that's very good. And also, like, especially in this in this society where there's um, there's a lot of um, things that are bad, I guess, and attracting them towards towards uh, towards bad things. When if you, if you have um, the Islamic knowledge just coming uh, from the masjid, 
and then you have activities that's coming from uh, this, uh, you know, <coughs> your organization that is, uh, it gives a good balance for for the youth to occupy their time because they because they have a lot of free time i think <laughs> that's, the, that's 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 the that's the main thing so i mean maybe i mean you could tell us a little bit about like um uh, some of the activities uh, that 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 you do b- briefly, like yeah, um, no, you know. I mean, it, it's um, essentially what you just mentioned in terms of um, covering all areas of the mm. youth's life, in terms of whether it's schooling, uh, when it comes to activities, you know, fitness or some sports that they do, mm. and that they oc- occupy their time with, uh, when it comes to the, the madrasa and teaching yeah. them their Islamic studies, uh, as we know, obviously school. Uh, takes up majority of the time mm. uh, of the day that they have. So in the weekend or in the evenings, as we used to run uh, the this, uh, you know the, the madrasa and uh, Islamic studies programs, uh, it's essential for them to, to have those, mm. you know, uh, to find time for those. Not too much, but enough time for them to obviously learn their deen, yeah. uh, understand the importance of their akhirah and the importance of having the true success mm-hmm. uh, of, of, of the akhirah. Um, and on top of that, any, in terms of mentoring with a lot of the... Um, you know the, the the youth issues that we know of nowadays that's mm-hmm. created by the environment um and 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 you know that, that exists you know for them to be able to come to these spaces where we where they find uh, muslims older brothers uh, and sisters that are muslim and are able to, able to yeah. speak to them they can uh, open up to them it is open up to them exactly yeah. speak to them uh you know to guide them and give that that direction perhaps mm. missing from something that their parents don't have because maybe they're you know they're, they're you know they're new to this uh, environment maybe they they were born in africa or you know yeah. back home asia, asia etc yeah. back home so they don't exactly know the the dangers and the harms right. and obstacles that the youth face so obviously so they're like mainly from like diaspora type of uh, alhamdulillah majority yeah. of of the, mm. the people that we work with they're, f- they're muslim you know arab uh, asian pakistani bengali somali oh, okay. other african uh, backgrounds so alhamdulillah it's a majority muslim we do we do get uh, some non muslim youth in in uh, some of our programs outside of the masjid that that attend alhamdulillah it's also da'wah for them and, yeah. and for them to see you know did you uh, offer them like advice as well on um, like <coughs> ten- potentially like what kind of careers to um, to get into definitely definitely i mean um, recently we ran um, four successive uh, youth career days with typo alhamdulillah with uh, many uh, Muslim professionals, alhamdulillah, yeah. yourself attended one of those yeah, back really in October. Nice. And uh, we've had many, many, alhamdulillah, successive success stories uh, coming off the back of that. Um, obviously, at every level, it's 14 plus that we do mm. this um, youth career days for. So whether it's uh, help with the GCSEs and advice on that, or once once they get to the A levels as well, uh, help with that once they transition into you yeah. know that higher education. And also when it comes to work and, and dunya success, you know, um, helping the youth and halal means and yeah. ways to avoid. You know, I was going to get into that actually. Yeah. You know, um, may- maybe I could bring Shamsi in as well. Like, so yeah. I think, you know, I, I think obviously in this society, especially in this day and age, there's a lot of emphasis placed on like get rich, get rich fast. Mm. And there's, there's, you know, we, we see in social media a lot of focus on being rich and, and being wealthy. And that's like a kind of. Um, a, a a kind of status um symbol where uh, you know p- pinnacle of of society is how rich you are mm. so like wh- wh- what is that from an Isla- islamic perspective where 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 is the guidelines on that? i mean uh, islamically speaking alhamdulillah there's no uh, problem someone wants to become rich mm. there's no problem with that rather we know some sahaba they were very rich for example abdurrahman ibn awf yeah. as you have stated to me Akhi, Barakallah, you said when they calculate how much money he had yeah, it was about over 70, 70 billion US yes, dollars so around. It was a Saudi university. Yeah, yeah. One of the, one over of the seventy billion, huh? Yeah, yeah. Subhanallah. It's, it's incredible. So so uh, but what's happening now, the, the the criteria is not how much or how much money you have or not. Now the criteria are you earning halal money? Yeah. You understand? Mm. And in, in our days everything's fast. Fast mm. food, fast, fast, fast. Even sometimes you see ads say how you learn how you want to learn Arabic in two days. <laughs> how are you learn Arabic in two days, bro? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. How are you gonna learn? No, Akhi, just because why they noticed, you know, it's like everyone's in a bubble of everything's fast. Right. You understand, Akhi? So some people are utilizing this to misguide the people and to uh, manipulate the people and to uh, uh, to benefit from them, mm-hmm. but based upon an empty uh, promises. Right, so right. Islamically speaking, <coughs> to be rich, rather Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam said, Ni'mal malal salih li rajul salih. What a blessed money for a righteous person. Yeah. And Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam said, there's two types of people you should be jealous of. Mm-hmm. The, the, the halal jealousy, okay? Yeah. 
uh, the person who is rich mm-hmm. and he spends in the way of Allah during the day and during the night and openly and uh, secretly and, uh, and openly. The second person, someone who has knowledge mm-hmm. and teaches it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, Alhamdulillah, like I said, the criteria is are you earning halal money? Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, you, uh, is, uh, Islam does not tell us stay in the masjid 24-7. Yeah. Um, except if you, are, if you do is you are a caretaker and you know, but Islam teaches you to go out, you know, uh, seek uh, risk from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, put trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Barakallah. I think all, all uh, obviously just to add to that, obviously yeah, like all, all, all the prophets um, and messengers, uh, they and um, you know they, they they didn't ask from the people. Yeah, they so do. you you don't want to ask from the people. You generally want to you want to earn your own live um, your own earning and everything, and make sure we're making sure that is 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 halal. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, so that's, that's that's very good. So so um, I guess. So that to, to you, you provide that kind of like yeah. those guidelines and things. Yeah, I mean completely for, for every every possible area. And alhamdulillah, like I said, we have you know young Muslim professionals from the age of twenty three and upwards, you know, uh, into the forties. Uh, young Muslims who yeah. you know raised in this country, born up, born and raised in this country, educated in this country. And alhamdulillah, um, I always give example to the um, young brothers that come to those mm. youth career days, and I say the brothers that you're seeing here, <laughs> they they don't miss Juma. They come to the lessons. Mashallah, some of them come to the darasuna lessons. Yeah, and alhamdulillah, they have their their dunya dunya sorted. Alhamdulillah, they earn a good living, and and you know looking after themselves and their families. Mashallah. So it's definitely very very important for the young Muslims, uh, brothers and sisters, to see yeah. male and female Muslim role models mm. and examples that yeah. they can look at in also, in also, the sense of balance. Also, <coughs> yeah, barakallah. That's what I was gonna uh, add. No. Yeah. Is the balance, mm-hmm. you know, to teach them that. Because we see now in our time, even so-called uh, Muslim du'at, they uh, start glorifying dunya too much. Yes, you yes, know, I've seen imitating that. Imitating non-Muslims mm. so, or mm. imitating some Muslims who have lack of knowledge about the importance of the deen over everything. Yeah. Now I'm go work, you know, uh, uh, try your best, you know, la but what's happened now? We see dunya has been glorified. Mm-hmm. Too much, you know. Yeah. So. Even we see some so-called duat taking pictures next to a car, Lamborghini. Mm-hmm. But you are this is not it's not yours. Why are you lying? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. This is not the teaching of Islam. And Nabi Alayhi Salam was you not know, standing next to fifty camels. Yeah. Nabi Alayhi was advising Sahaba uh, to go work, you know, try your best and everything. But uh, so Alhamdulillah, it's good to have uh, a brother like uh, our brother Ahmed or uh, helping the Shabab and and. Uh, 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 getting the measures involved yeah. to show them the correct way. Exactly. Now go seek your risk. However, be balanced. You know, yeah. because uh, our main target, our objective goal is al akhirah. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you should negate the dunya. The dunya no. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think I'll, I'll <coughs> add to that a little bit because I think um, when when I was when I was young. I'm still young, but when I, when I was more <laughs> younger, I think I think I was attracted to these kind of things as as you are as 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 a, as a youth that uh, yeah. like to these uh, fast cars and uh, I still like I still like cars, but um, what what I realized as as you get older is you shouldn't you shouldn't focus yourself on these like materialistic things. You yeah. know your 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 target should be like uh, aiming for for success and so. success could mean anything in 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 terms of what the person wants and it could be uh, down to like okay can I su- su- being successful is can I provide for my family. Can I alleviate the pressure from my 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 father to to Sorry. to work? Maybe he's in old age, so <coughs> I can I can take that burden on myself. Uh, you know, responsibility. Do am I looking to get married? Do I have the sufficient resources to get married? Mm. Like all all of those kind of things, I think can be determined as 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 being successful. Absolutely. We don't have to aim for the for as the Lamborghini. <laughs> to Allah, absolutely, no. yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. This uh, is like uh, Subhanallah. You taking a picture next to Lamborghini. I mean, mm-hmm. there's no problem. Me as teach the Muslims, teach Shabab how to make money, how to work, how. T- nah, yeah. But what is the point of taking a picture next to Lamborghini? Except, especially a brother who claims to be doing dawah. Yeah. Except that you're imitating. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. brothers may Allah guide them, or non-Muslims may Allah guide them to Islam too. You know. I mean, Nabi Alayhi Salaam who encouraged the Sahaba to work, he was not taking picture. I mean, not picture. He was telling them, "Come see how many comes out." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, Subhanallah. This is a so rather what you do. What you, what's happening now? They get in a shabab attached to the dunya. Yes. Yeah. 
See, and I mean, like that, that that's, that's set, setting also setting unrealistic kind of um, Fuck, kind of things, laughing. isn't it? Because you're, yeah. you're 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 encouraging that culture of like, um, like let's get rich fast, yeah. get rich quick. I mean, the, the person who maybe owns a Lamborghini and got it through legitimate ways uh, probably worked a long time to <laughs> to get to that stage where he could yeah. actually afford it. Yeah. You know. So, but but then but if you just show a quick picture, they're like, oh, I can do that. In you know, <laughs> if, in, <Unrealistic laughs> in a few days. Yeah, yeah un un Absolutely. unrealistic. And people, like I said, people are making money from. This now they it's go cool, yeah. they go to uh, uh, they rent houses mm -hmm. they take picture record and he, he claims that his house you know yeah. then what he does he said this I can help you how to, to become like this. To become rich so yeah. sign up to this uh, uh, program <laughs> and uh, yeah I've, I've seen there's quite um, quite a common so the point here is that it's good to have brothers who are upon the Dean practicing to show the Shabab Naam there's no harm becoming rich mm -hmm. but remember our main uh, our objective goal is the akhirah. So, yeah. so utilize the dunya to reach the akhirah. Yeah. yeah. Barakallahu yeah. alaykum. That's a really, really yeah. important point, actually, yeah. that brothers, um, inshallah, should step forward if they are, bidna Allah ta'ala, successful mm -hmm. in the dunya and deen and they, they have that balance. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, don't hide in the background. Come and you maybe show, show the, you know, the next generation, the next, you know, Muslim youth, alhamdulillah, yeah. that these things can be done in legit legitimate ways. Uh, perhaps even in you know uh, joining us in maybe some of these uh, youth career days that we do, and and give advice on those steps that they took and the route. That yeah, they absolutely, took to get yeah, there absolutely, because, absolutely. Because you know you have these other uh, you know people who provide means of either mm -hmm. ways of getting there. They're showing the youth, and they're you know they're coming forward. So yeah. we need more you know inshallah Muslims who are you know in that balance to come forward and and, and give course. back to the youth inshallah. I mean it, it doesn't take a lot to be honest. No, it doesn't take. Like, you, you, you're just sharing yeah. your experiences and then and then answering questions and things like there that. Go, yeah. I think I think the, the just to your point, Shamsi. I think you know just just the one of the things that I've noticed and one of the things that I I think is a bit of a red flag when when people uh, do these kind of things when they actually uh, set a formula and say this is the formula, mm. you know, to to, you know, to to be successful, to be rich. This is the formula. Yeah, Pay this money, you know, uh, come down and we'll, we'll, we'll tell you. But we can't disclose it now. But, you know, it's, 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 for me, that's like a, <laughs> it's a red flag for so, me. Yeah, because yeah, you sign up for something you don't know what is. You, what you, don't, know, you don't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. Subhanallah. And, and, so, and, and, uh, and, 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 you know, uh, just to uh, mention something, my brothers. Subhanallah, da'wah. Many brothers comes to me, say, I want to give da'wah. Mm. Giving da'wah, you don't have to be in front of the camera teaching the people. Yeah. Like the Prophet Ahmed mentioned, if you have experience, alhamdulillah, in work and you can help the shabab to direct them how to make money in a halal way, that can be da'wah if you do it for Allah's sake. You know, that doesn't mean you don't get money or mm. pay for it. You understand? Like an imam, he, imam muadzin can get paid, but he's still doing the adam for the sake of Allah. Yeah, There's not an uh, con contradiction between the two as an imam bin Baz. May Allah have mercy upon him. <coughs> yeah. So da'wah, you don't have to be, it's not... In order for me to da to do da'wah, I have to be teaching. No, you can be giving leaflets. You can help it with money. Yeah. You know, help. You know that okay, this brother wants to go to study in the university. Yeah. I will have the brother. That's yeah. doing da'wah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Absolutely. So when you at the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, how he utilized <laughs> the shabab, uh, uh, the sahaba, mm. uh, skills and uh, 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 their skills. Some sahaba they were known to do jihad for jihad. Yeah. Like Khabib al Walid. Some yeah. Sahaba will know to teach. Yeah. Some Sahaba will know to do uh, 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 to do Safi goes. Absolutely. That shows you what the wisdom of Al Mustafa alayhi salatu yeah. So yeah. we don't want everyone to become a scholar. We wish yeah. someone, but they, we should be realistic. So yeah, understand, yeah. Akhi. So you want someone to be an Imam, someone to be Muaddin, someone uh, uh, a biologist, yeah. someone uh, uh, a businessman. You know, Barakallahu alaykum. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I mean, like if, if if you if you if you prevented someone from <coughs> falling in, falling into haram. Then, then that's a form of dawah, right? Barakallah. You, you, you know, and, and, and it doesn't have to necessarily be uh, by giving them a fatwa. So you can actually give them from, from practical experience. Yeah, you can say, look, they, they, it, this, they, this, this job, it leads to this, so, yeah. so avoid it. Or this piece, this kind of work, it leads to this kind of area, so you should avoid it. And, and based on that, that advice and by the tawfiq of Allah, if the person um, doesn't go that way, then you, you know, you, you've been a wasila or a means no, for them to, true, you know, to, to, to avoid. Yeah. Even okay. Tuhanla, going back to the point I was mentioning in terms of um, when it comes to the, the da'wah and helping the da'wah, there's mm -hmm. so many different parts to it. Yeah. And even the brothers, some brothers, um, 
the da'wah wouldn't run without you know opening the masjid for example of course, that, yeah. that t- take care of the masjid mm-hmm. you know w- without them it, it wouldn't it wouldn't uh you know the, the salawat and like we said the mu'addin subhanallah maybe many people who don't come mm-hmm. to the masjid don't know the the, the mu'addin but subhanallah is a big big role and mm-hmm. not everybody's going to stand uh, on the member or you know sit, sit in front of the people and teach yeah. uh, and in in the community especially building the community there's so many so many different parts that you can actually help and mm-hmm. direct people to to, to good Day. subhanallah Day. Okay, um, Ahmed, uh, I think maybe um, I was going to go on to a little bit about um, like maybe some of the like the challenges and obstacles maybe that you that you face. Maybe you can give a few <coughs> examples of that. That that would be that would be good for um, for people to um, um, to hear about because obviously, I think your um, um, your your role in in the community is is very challenging. I think and, and it re- represents different different um, aspects. It'd be good to hear the details about that. I think. Yeah, I mean to be honest, um, obviously in terms of from our side of things, yeah. one of the biggest challenges is is space, mm. is is to have the the space yeah. to to be able to run some of the things that we have. See, they're not giving us enough money. They're not giving us <laughs> enough money. In terms of yeah, in, so in terms of um, space, space, finances, and and people. To be yeah. honest, if we had more people, if we had a bigger space and a bit more in terms of um, um, you know funding and funds, um, obviously with the UK, it's difficult to apply. As mm. an organization for some funds uh, fundings, uh, because of the you know the um, requirements, right? And some of them, of course, alhamdulillah, as a Muslim, you know, organization upon the Sunnah, we try to stay away from some of the the, the criteria. You know, yes. you, you don't want to really meet that, yeah. Uh, course, particularly with where the way we, you know where where things are heading, yeah. Um, but in terms of the challenges on our side, is it's those things really? If we had a bigger space. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so m- more people to help, like I said, brothers and you know, inshallah, also sisters. In terms of the young girls that we try to um, work, work, you know, work with, if we had those those um, right. support in that sense, it would help. Um, in terms of the obstacles, obviously, from that we've we've faced with the youth, yeah, uh, from 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 their side is um, <clears throat> again, obviously, it's uh, we live in a very difficult environment, yeah, you know, very difficult time. So it's it's that. Um, you know everything that you teach them or that you talk to them about you know they're going and and seeing far worse you know mm-hmm. on tv um you know the, the, the things that they're yeah, watching the filth, you know the yeah. devices that they're using nowadays when they mm-hmm. go to school you know they go there and they pick up bad behavior maybe that you spoke about something to do with manners in in in, in one of the islamic studies lessons mm-hmm. or in some of the mentoring sessions but then obviously they go to school and they pick up far worse so, so it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a balance you're try, trying to strike the balance between the yeah uh, uh, between the worldly affairs and the, and the absolutely and, and the absolutely because we're seeing the minimum time really if, if yeah. we're seeing them once or twice a week but they're going to school five days mm. a week you know uh, seven hours uh, each day so and also the environment that we live in you know, um, I mean, Shepherd's Bush in particular, the areas of White City, we know the challenges that that, that, that the youth face there. Yeah. It's it's yeah, many, you know, in terms of, um, you know, when it comes to street crime. Street crime, drugs. drugs um, when it comes yeah. to obviously influence of, uh, you know, rappers and musicians mm. uh, and, 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 you know, those. So there's there's many, many challenges to be honest. And I think it's, um, we, c- we can go into many, many. Yeah, no, uh, that's good. Uh, of the different challenges. I, was, I think I was going to just kind of just to just to balance that out. I was going to say, like, for, for example, so, Sh- so Shamsi, for yourself, like, obviously you're 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 giving lessons in the masjid uh, at the same time and obviously going through uh, many different books. Um, you know, w- the examples um, in in in, in, uh, in the seerah and obviously uh, with the way the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi dealt with the Sahaba. Um, you know, what w- what kind of examples can you give um, in terms of um, guiding the youth in terms of the, the so, issues they face and uh, like our brother Ahmed mentioned the time we're living in no doubt there's a lot of trials and tribulations and we have to know how to deal with our young brothers and sisters may Allah bless them all mm. um, based upon my experience especially for the last five years seven years uh, one of the, the problems that not problems but Shabab like brother Ahmed mentioned we teach them in the madrasa we teach them something they go to school or watch videos on mm. TikTok or social media, generally speaking. You know, doubt and guess Islam and other than that. So, alhamdulillah, uh, they come, I mean, to the masjid, you know, to ask questions about Islam. Okay, I, I saw a clip on TikTok. It mm. says that Prophet Muhammad did this or that. So, alhamdulillah, we deal with them uh, in a good way. Alhamdulillah, we advise them. Uh, just as Prophet Muhammad, uh, Prophet Muhammad, alayhi dealt with his companions yeah. for example i mean one of the problem of uh, some masajid or mm-hmm. some parents 
that when they children ask them something about Islam, especially mm, shut them down. they shut them down. Mm. They say, "Khalas, you live in Islam, you know." Yeah. But I just ask him, you know. Yeah. Uh, Ibn Abbas, oh, عفوا, when a, a man came to Nabi alayhi salatu salam, one of the Sahaba, I was very young. Mm-hmm. He said, "Oh, Messenger of Allah, allow me to fornicate." Wow. Imagine that. Imagine that. Someone come who. Not to Imam, he's coming to Nabi alayhi salatu salam. He's allow me. So, uh, Sahaba, they got very angry. Mm. You know, how are you asking Prophet Sallam? Mm-hmm. Prophet Sallam said, you know, to calm down. And he told him, come close. He said, would you like it for your sister? He said, no. Mm. Would you like it for your mother? He said, no. Would you like it for your auntie? He said, no. He said, the way you don't like it for your families, for your family, people don't like it for their families too. Mm-hmm. So he said, oh, message of Allah, make dua for me. And Nabi alayhi salatu salam made dua for him. Yeah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala guide his heart and, and protect his, uh, uh, to Allah protect the young boy, uh, his private parts. So the shade, barakallahu alaykum, mm-hmm. um, there is many examples that we can give from the seerah of Mustafa alayhi salatu salam, from the biography of uh, Nabi alayhi salam, how he dealt with the, 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 the Sahaba, uh, especially the young ones. Uh, for example, mm-hmm. to show you the uh, uh, Subhanallah, Ibn Hazm al-Zahiri and Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned mm-hmm. anyone with the uh, sound reasoning yeah. and a sound fitrah read and study the biography of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam there is not any doubt uh, there is not any doubt he will come to conclusion that Muhammad must be the Messenger of Allah Absolutely Alayhi Wasallam so for example when the young boy came to Nabi Alayhi Salatu Wasallam and uh, he said oh, oh, uh, this young boy he had uh, a bird mm. And uh, uh, Nabi alayhi salatu salam used to ask him, how is your bird? Yeah. Imagine a man that is busy with his family, busy with companions, teaching them, busy with other th- things. But he has a time to ask the young boy about his bird. Yeah. Uh, so, and like I've mentioned, there's many, many examples show how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how he dealt with Sahaba, the young, one, the young ones. Giving them uh, attention. It's attention, naam. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, showing yeah. them mercy, showing them love, <coughs> alayhi yeah. salatu so I, th- I think I think it's yeah. To your earlier point, is very good. I mean, I think it's a little bit. Um, um, obviously, that's that's in opposition to how th- some of the parents just shut them down and say, mm. "Well, how dare you ask that question? You know, wh- you know, wh- wh- what are you doing? Be quiet." Or it's, it's, it's better to um, to to dispel it with knowledge and with uh, with um, you know a bit of softness. I think yeah, and, and, and and explain to them what what um, <laughs> what what the um, what the correct uh, the correct um, thing is. So do you, do you find a lot of like conflict between like um, parents understanding and, and and children's understanding in these this uh, in, in your mean, experience? <coughs> no, definitely. Um, particularly with um, you know a lot of the parents as uh, as I mentioned that we work with, coming from a background of you know Africa, Asia, Arabia, mm. um, you know having grown up in a very different environment. I mean even myself and uh, ourselves, you know yeah. when when our parents used to shout at us or tell us off, um, we didn't have any dislike towards them it was just you know you just knew that this was discipline yeah. mm. but nowadays these kids obviously the children um in this environment the parents need to understand that they're growing up in a in a completely different environment <laughs> yeah. a completely different time so mm. some of the ways of discipline have to be you know you have to bear, bear that in mind mm. you know what they're comparing themselves to or maybe the kids in in their, yeah. in their in the school that they you know the stories that they tell them and things like that so with with the conflict as well is you also have the age gap you know some of the parents like i said they're born in Africa, raised in mm. Africa, and the mentality is completely, you know, uh, Asia, Africa, and so on and so forth. And then you have the kids here. Um, and also the, the, the language barrier. Um, sometimes the parents, they don't speak the la- the English language, you know, uh, yeah. uh, you know, um, enough, enough. Um, but you, you provide, well. you, you could provide them guidance. Definitely, yeah. yeah. So, so, so we, we do obviously do encourage the parents to try and, you know, spend that time with them and at least try and, you know, be mm. patient with understanding what the problem is before, <coughs> You know, telling off the child, or in terms of when they're using methods of discipline and things like that, yeah. to be able to kind of you know understand and you know use wisdom and use um, you know a level of patience. But like I said, also some of the kids, um, you know, because they're born here, maybe they don't speak their their families or the parents' native language. Yeah. Um, so so what happens is you're naturally going to have that age gap, language barrier. And you know, if you have problems in trying to solve them, mm-hmm. the language is not not the same. Yeah, the right. understanding is not the same, same and the age is not the same. You're gonna have you know many. You're gonna create more problems just from that. So obviously, with, with parents, you know, mm-hmm. use utilizing the the masjid, uh, men, youth mentors, you know, the coaches that maybe have you know are able to relate to these youth is is it's a good and alhamdulillah we've seen many parents that that come to us and, yeah. and they appreciate that that bridge that we we you know we um. We are between them. Uh, and I think also, like in this that. society, there's a lot of um, 
you're kind of i mean i'm just you, my own experiences growing up you, you're kind of taught to question everything Absolutely. question everything and challenge everything which is which in some ways is good but you can't question everything and obviously especially when it comes to like islam and your beliefs and things you can't you can't uh, be questioning these things but then i guess these are some of the kind of issues that you face i mean even outside islam you cannot question everything you, question you, everything, become, yeah. you become a <laughs> you know so, yeah. it's like uh, can you question your questioning this again this uh, sorry to cut you it's skepticism no, no, it's, it's, it's every the question and they, they how they they clove it with the garment of intellectual intellectual, intellectual critical thought. thinking yeah, yeah critical yeah. thinking yeah. you are you have to be smart question everything mm. that doesn't make any sense how you can uh, subhanallah like the uh, uh, subhanallah when uh, one of the ulama mentioned he, he said there's some people say there's no certainty at all <laughs> so ask him, you statement, there's no certainty. Is it certain or not? <coughs> yeah. If it's not, then you have to establish your statement as well. Yeah. Then, uh, so there's no end to it. There's no end yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, but that's how they teach him in, uh, in the schools and universities mm. that in order for you to be a smart person, an intellectual person, you have to question everything. No, you're just majnoon. Mm. Yeah. So now, there's certain things if you question there's no problem with yeah, that reasonable questioning to, to understand think, yeah. to understand to learn of course uh, you know when you don't understand something maybe your yeah. parents but particularly with obviously dealing with your parent you know you should have that that that, that guidance that the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned in terms of Sallallahu being good to them being dutiful to them and even how you question them you're not going to question them like you question your friend you know <laughs> you're going to talking to about emphasize yeah, yeah subhanAllah yeah no. so no, you're, you're going to question your parents you know in a respectful manner in a way that that, yeah. that is um yeah. and I, I, I think as, I think I think Shams, yeah. you you mentioned this in in some of your other talks as well right with regards to uh, people questioning uh, things that are that are very clear and very like certain and and obviously that's that's something that's kind of dispraised because it's bordering on insanity if you're questioning your own existence yeah. if you're questioning you know what illusion what's, what's, that's why there's a that uh, what create create people that believe everything what you see is illusion yeah yeah because yeah, why? The guy took his phone. Took his phone. Yeah, I can't tell Because why? When I put him to the test, mm. he said, you know what? If I he tell him his up. dream, he will take up. my phone away from me. Yeah. But he yeah. woke up. Literally, I saw his face. He woke up. He's like, he understands. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but I want to emphasize on something like, mm. you know, yes, you can ask questions, but especially with your parents, you have to be good to them, man. You mm. know, be nice to your parents. A real man is not someone who goes disrespect his parents. <laughs> Or speak down to his mother or his father. You know, real man. You're just a, a foolish person. Yeah. So. Uh, the, 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 if you want to uh, show, follow the examples of the real man, the prophets and the messengers, mm. then the companions of Al Mustafa alayhi salatu salam. Look how they, they look mm. Ibrahim alayhi salatu salam. Mm. Subhanallah. But even if they're non-Muslims, even, huh? they're not, even if they're non-Muslims, yeah. 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 his father was a Muslim, yeah. 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 and he was commanding him to 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 to, to do shirk. Subhanallah. Mm. Yet he was good, he was respectful to him. What about your parents who are Muslims? Yeah. So you have to obey. This is a different to topic, to be honest. It's but a very, very well. It's a very big one. Even yeah. even young young people when mm. they begin to practice, you know, and maybe their parents are kind of scared for them to do certain things. Mm. Maybe the times that they're coming from the masjid, you know, particularly in the in the summer when it's just <laughs> quite late. Yeah. And then uh, the young person, because they think I'm going to pray, and خلاص, they reply to the parent however they want. Yeah. Subhanallah. But in, in the example of Ibrahim alayhi salam, what did he address him with? Yeah, the abati. Most, the yeah. most, yeah, and the most beautiful way of addressing. Addressing your father, subhanAllah. Yeah. My Even dear if father. Shirk, yeah, subhanAllah. Yeah. But then, but then you know, like, you, 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 going back to, like, some of the examples that you, you mentioned before, uh, there, there are, there are <coughs> um, like, callers uh, or du'at out there that will, that, that kind of, you know, misguide people, uh, misguide the youth in, in terms of saying, like, you know, uh, like, for example, you know, like, go home and turn off the TV and, uh, you know, these, these kind of things where maybe maybe the parent is, is you know, <laughs> his father or something watches the news or something like that. Well, and it, it can't be. And um, they you have, story. To, be, you have to be soft. <laughs> yeah, there's, there, in Algeria, a, a friend of mine told me <laughs> there was a young boy who was, uh, uh, you know, he started practicing. So he became very excited with, yeah. you know, so that one early day, energy. Huh? The early energy. Yeah, early energy. Yeah. Like, it's haram, haram, yeah. haram. So he was sitting with these some young boys or like the example you gave about this yeah. du'at, so-called du'at, juhal in reality. Giving advice, go smash the TV. Yeah. It's haram to have TV at home. Go smash it. He went to smash, smash the TV. <laughs> like, yeah. And back home, skin, the father has been working for years to buy a TV. <laughs> so the father was not at home. He came, the TV has been smashed. What happened? Haram. He said, your son, so he's waiting for him. <laughs> he came around after Isha. He said, 
You and TV go out. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna stay outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get out. Both so out Allah. Long so this is gel because I've heard. I know which brother you're referring to. He yeah. said go smash a TV or something. Yeah, yeah. Jail, yeah. <laughs> This man jail. Allah salam wa alaikum. But this is a mushkil of social media not allowing every person speak, to speak, uh, speak and you know and this is the same person who tried to glorify the dunya you know taking yeah. pictures with the next Lamborghini and so on subhanallah this is a much we should go back to student of knowledge who are real student of knowledge mm. who are full of wisdom alhamdulillah who can guide you to the correct way how to deal with your families how to deal with your friends how to deal with your uh uh uh, wor- uh with your uh with your society, society neighbors, and, neighbors, yeah, and, and, and neighbors and so on yeah. Yeah. those who are older in age mm-hmm. You know, Alhamdulillah. Those who are old and aged, because they have more experience, more knowledge, more wisdom. Barakallah of Ikum. Yeah. True, very true. Uh, and also, I was going to ask, like, so do they, do, they um, do you offer, like, counseling services or do you refer people to uh, um, counseling and stuff if they, if they have, like, deeper, um, you find this, you know, they have deeper underlying. Um, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, no, we we definitely do um, refer because obviously with the parents of Hamdullah, them you know, knowing us and being comfortable with us, uh, mm. you know, at times we're their first point of contact. Mm. Um, so where we're required, of course, we you know refer, refer them to you know professional, um, you know professional bodies, whether mm. it be hospital, whether it be you know some sort of counselling, uh, some sort of mentorships that that could benefit them in terms. But trained of professionals. Trained though. professionals, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, in 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 those fields, alhamdulillah. And of course, in and mm. what I was mentioning earlier about having Muslims um, connected to these sort of services is mm. if we can refer them to a Muslim, you know, mentor, Muslim counselor, it's, it's alhamdulillah is much more beneficial, yeah. better. But obviously, you you you've built that relationship with a lot of the community, so you you, you know you understand it's it's it's, it's over a long period of long time where you can long. come to um come to make that kind of assessment. Yeah, it's no, not definitely, just definitely. overnight, yeah. Because I mean, because I, I mean, I was gonna get onto like some I've, I've seen. Again, some 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 duat or like some callers uh, suddenly they one day you know they uh, uh, die and then they become a professional counselor Counsel overnight and then day. you know charging a lot of money yeah. and and uh, saying look you know uh, come to me for counseling advice and uh, dealing with business, big big pro- big problems yeah, yeah like yeah. big big things like <laughs> divorce and <laughs> and then uh, marriage and marriage issues and and these kind of things so I've seen I've seen I've seen a lot of that but obviously uh, with, with with yourself obviously if you if you're if you're building that community relationship and those and those links and then then that then you understand what's happening with someone and, yeah, yeah. and, and w- we, we always work like a directory sometimes you know subhanallah like mm. other than what we are able to do and what we have the ability allah has given us the ability knowledge and understanding to do mm. everything else alhamdulillah we refer you know to, to those um that are better than us in in that um even example for, you know when it comes to certain questions that maybe uh, somebody might may, may ask about you know university or certain, you know loans and certain things which need you know kind of uh, detailed answers how do refer them to the masjid um mm. you know brothers like shamsi and and you know imam nuruddin or whoever it may be and mm. and then obviously from there if it needs to even taken up to the to the scholars and, and, yeah, yeah to, to the people of knowledge absolutely which has happened so alhamdulillah we we, we definitely in, in what we do we need to know where to stop yeah. No. yeah, I mean, it's, it's good you have access to the network, so you so you you can no, no, you can refer, refer and point to the to the to the to the right person um, according to their expertise, no, uh, because obviously it's it's important to go back to the person of expertise definitely, definitely. in 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 the field that the the question lays in. Um, so I, th- I think w- one one thing I wanted to ask uh, with um, with um, Brother Shamsi, um, I mean, what kind of um, advice would you give um, to the youth from from an Islamic perspective, where they see everyone else around them, obviously, especially in this society, yeah. they're having so-called like quote unquote fun outside mm-hmm. and they're doing all these um, kind of things. So what, what what would you advise them to remain motivated from an Islamic perspective? Like how to do what? To, to, remain? to, to, to remain motivated on, on practicing. Alhamdulillah, I mean, look, uh, me myself, I came from, uh, like many people know, I went to prison, mm. you know, subhanAllah. Uh, Alhamdulillah saved me from crazy lifestyle. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Amen. Amen. When I started uh, practicing, one thing that I had to do to occupy myself. Occupy your time. By, yeah. yeah, occupy my time, mm. seeking knowledge. Likewise, and I always emphasize on this point, having good friends. It's very, very important <coughs> to have good friends around you. Friends who are upon the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So make sure you uh, work. You have to occupy yourself. Ibn Qayyim said, uh, um, wasting mm. time is worse than death mm. why? because wasting time cuts you off from the remembrance of Allah as for death cuts you off from the dunya and its mm. problems it. subhanallah 
So it's very important for the young brothers out there to uh, uh, make sure. The, first, you have to understand this dunya. You're not going to stay. We're not going to stay here forever. Mm. And a death has no age. How many people died at the age of 16, 17, younger or older? You understand? <laughs> so uh, this life is a test. Uh, we have to try our best to uh, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to understand that the real man, the, the, the true meaning of a real man, someone who worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, follow mm. an Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. Be respectful to his parents. Barakallahu mm. alaykum. So uh, 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 make sure also uh, study, do something, you know, to uh, benefit you in this life or the here after. Uh, Umar al-Khattab once came to the masjid mm. and he saw a man in the masjid. And he said, I left you for a time and you're still here? Mm. He said, yes. He said, you don't work? He said, no, I don't do nothing. He said, go <laughs> out and go look for a job or something. <laughs> you know, subhanAllah. So, and there was a young brother who used to come to our masjid, Dar Sunnah. Uh, he used to be always in the masjid. Mm. Alhamdulillah, our brother Ahmed advised him. I advised him. I said, go do something, understand? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, he came to masjid, Alhamdulillah. But you know, teacher, you know, caretaker, <laughs> you know. So go out and do something. Yeah. Uh, subhanAllah. So, uh, we advise him with also read the Quran, read the biographies of the companions of an Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. Yeah. yeah. I think it's important to have um, the right role models in this day and age as well, isn't it? Because very, um, very. you know, and they, they need to be open. You mm. know, they need to be out there, as I said, connecting to the youth, giving back to the youth, uh, yeah. being available to the community, you know, serve the community, inshallah, because there's no, you know, really benefit in, in hiding you know, the good that you have that you can share with the youth because the people of evil, they're, you know, they're out there, they're putting themselves out there, they're advertising themselves and they're trying to connect to the youth. They're trying to take, you know, um, you know, pollute the mind of the young person. Yeah. Um, they're trying to influence them. So it's good that, that those people who are doing khair um, and particularly connecting yourself to the masjid and saying, you know, what can I do? What can I offer? Mm. It doesn't always have to be that you have your own platform and, you know, become famous <laughs> or, you know, uh, open yeah, a YouTube yeah. channel and, and stuff. It's, it's, you know, if we have a connected body of, of you know, community work, as I said, it's, it's, it's so many different parts yeah. and you don't always have to be at the forefront or known or whatever it may be, but you can you can have such a, subhanAllah, any uh, big influence with, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, being, being the one that rewards. Yeah, so I think so it's I'm important right. that they put themselves out there. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Akhi, subhanallah, how many people are doing something for the sake of Allah behind the scene? Mm. Subhanallah, you, we don't know them, don't but know Allah them, yeah. knows them. Subhanallah, so. yeah. subhanallah, you understand, so, akhi? So, yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's that's that's, that's very good because I mean, obviously, even as you mentioned before, like, um, with, with the Sahaba. The different Sahaba play different roles. Uh, obviously, not everyone is like an all-rounder like Abu Bakr Siddiq. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but there's yeah. the other Sahaba had different different qualities, and 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 uh, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam knew how to utilize them yeah. um, in the yeah, best uh, in, 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 in in the best ways. Uh, maybe um, I think uh, just I want to kind of round up, but like I think uh, maybe Ahmed, if you can give us a few examples of like some su success stories, because obviously I like to give a positive message yeah. out there and good news for the, no, for, for the Muslims. I mean, um, to be honest, there's, there's uh, well, like, there's many, but I'll, I'll probably mention maybe the, the, the closest one um, that SubhanAllah I've seen this year. Um, mm. As I mentioned, obviously our works, it encompasses all sort of areas of youth, whether it's be, alhamdulillah, we do some works with, you know, youth in schools, uh, in the local area, obviously the workshops that we run, the mm. one that, you know, Shimshi's come himself, alhamdulillah, yourself, you're there at the Youth Career Day. Yeah. Um, uh, the um, mentoring one-to-one -one groups, online teaching, alhamdulillah, uh, and also you know um, support you know in mental mental yeah. health units, um, you know supporting them, you know mentoring them because once they're in there, and you know they they you know the section or whatever is you know it's a really difficult environment for them and it gets <laughs> it makes them uh, I mean at times they become worse being in there because you know you're in there with a lot of people with different sort of conditions. So I think the closest one maybe that I, I would use an example is alhamdulillah young brother. That we were working with in one of the mental health units okay. like for mentoring him for about six or s six or so months, yeah. um, and it was his second second time that he was being admitted um, after relapse, and obviously it was oh. you know due to drugs and and, and things like that, um, and uh, with his story, alhamdulillah, from and he, from beginning to end, seeing his and he recovery, mm. uh, and alhamdulillah, obviously after Allah, it was you know the dua that his mother was making and his family, but yeah. also the works that we did with him, alhamdulillah. Um, he really, really benefited from from that because once they're in there, mm. they don't really have a lot of access to, to therapy and you know these kind of things or counselling. Yeah. It's just medication, food, sleeping, yeah, yeah. and there's not much yeah. to do even. So Alhamdulillah, we we're regularly visiting him and working with him, and you know he really, really Alhamdulillah, and he, even deem wise, 
he was benefiting from us and he would always when he sees us he would recite Fatiha with us like he would literally sit <laughs> there yeah, and, and just read read sort of Fatiha Mashallah. with me alhamdulillah so uh, and sometimes he said he'd read with me so oh, okay, and, nice. and I used to read with him yeah. but long story short alhamdulillah obviously maybe for another episode in details and things like that but over the six or so months alhamdulillah he, he made recovery um, from obviously the advice that we were given and work that we were doing and alhamdulillah he managed to to, to, to be um discharged yeah. and, and and alhamdulillah after the the, you know, the the months and you know the medication uh, bits of it alhamdulillah that he's hopefully hoping to stop soon yeah. with the advice of doctor and things like that alhamdulillah but now he's he has some you know alhamdulillah motivation aspiration to go egypt mm. And, and study Arabic yes, and study yeah. Quran. And yes, yeah. there some of the brothers, maybe from um, uh, the Masjid, may, may, may know him. But uh, what happened was with him before that, mm. and he uh, uh, recently his um, family sent me a video of him learning Al Fatah. He had no previous any yani, study of Quran, oh, or okay, anything okay. like that, subhanAllah. Wow. Very so, nice. yani, seeing his and where he was at a time, and yani, mm. it looked like there was, especially with mental illness, mm. it looked like there was no hope. SubhanAllah. Wallahi, yeah, yeah, it looked like, yeah, and obviously, uh, like I said, um, alhamdulillah, the, the feedbacks that we get mm. and some of these things, and it's, it's difficult to share. But yeah. it's it, it was it was an amazing, akhi, wallahi, recovery and, and a turn of events, as they say, it was very, very, um, and very, subhanallah, heart, heartwarming, you know, mm. to see, especially with his mother, you know, being being um, uh, one of one of only other children that the mother has, yeah. you know, to, to to lose your child to mental illness is is something really, really difficult, and you're seeing that. You know them deteriorating, yeah. you know, becoming worse by day. Subhanallah, mm. the mood, lack of mm. motivation, and of course, then you know comes the you know not understanding Dean and was he isolated himself? He th that's the thing. He wasn't. I mean, yeah. where it was, it was actually bad company. You know, you always refer to yeah, Subhanallah yeah. Like, it, surrounding himself drugs, drugs and bad company, yeah. and, mm. and he kept going back to that for about mm. I think it was about five years or so of that. He was he was having for you know for for a while. And yeah. obviously, it took it takes its toll, and you know, advice to the to the young people listening, inshallah, is is you know to stay away, away from drugs. Obviously, Prophet Shams will add on you know um, drugs yeah, points to that. Yeah. But wallahi, it's it's and it's becoming widespread. Subhanallah, it's mm. becoming as I say, you know, the, the real pandemic, not 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 the, not the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real pandemic, wallahi, subhanallah. And there's many many youth now, especially with these um, what they called recreational drugs, you know, the balloons and things like that. It's it's hidden because it doesn't mm. look as as bad as you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, looks, yes, yes. yeah <laughs> nice colored balloons, you know, <laughs> yeah. a little, you know, very really sort of creative way of, of of putting the balloon into the, the gas into the and they make the it balloon. accessible, isn't it? For, very accessible, for them, yeah. and and it's it's and they advertise it to each other, you know, mm. it's it's encouragement, you know, friends uh, yeah, encouraging course, you, course, you know, sitting in cars, and it, you know, before we used to have fun, subhanallah, you know, going bike riding, walking before the phone, yeah. the technology <laughs> era. Before, before the phone came, yes, but now imagine, Akhi, me, you, your friends get together, you just sit in a car. You know, you know, just ballooning up the whole time. Yeah. That's that's your fun. That's that, so that, it's that was, it's really yeah. changing up. But that that was a really really uh, kind of a, a close story to, to me. Alhamdulillah, and it was a recent story. Alhamdulillah, only last year, twenty twenty two. So th uh, that was one. I mean, in terms of career um, and help with like kind of work and finding employment, mm. we've had numerous. Alhamdulillah, we've had a young young brother. Alhamdulillah, through one of our um, online. Uh, workshops, uh, yeah. IT workshops. Alhamdulillah, he oh. found he found a career job, nice. uh, which he started last month. Alhamdulillah, very good. And, uh, and 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 many many, wallahi, many many stories. Alhamdulillah, that that we've, yeah. we've, we could no, share. No, I mean it's it's it's, it's I'm very working good. for people. There's no problem with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm working for people. There's no harm with that. Nah, so. You know, some Sahaba, even some prophets, they were working for people. So. You know, as long as your job is halal, barakallah ikum. So. so uh, we have to be realistic mm. because there's tandiri and there is reality. There's, uh, I can s sit here and speak in theory. Yes, uh, you do this, do that. But in reality, it's something <laughs> else. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> so yeah. working as long as you work in a halal way, alhamdulillah. And Sheikh Hassan al-Somali mentioned, uh, uh, when try to belittle people that work for people, what about your parents? Maybe your father, he's a worker. And fa your father should be your hero. Mm. Should be someone that you look up to. And she hasn't mentioned that. Well, like these very good points. Yeah. Because if you have people out there saying, "Ah, oh, if you work for people, you do nothing, this and that," then I look. I think you know, my father. My father died, rahmahullah. But Allah. like these young Allah. brothers, he, he think, "Oh, but my father works mm. for someone. My father is a road sweeper. My father is this. You know, so you start believing your father. Yeah, yeah, no, your father is your hero. Understand. Your yeah. father is working harder to make money for you to make money in order to provide for you." Mm. Barakallah you come so respect your parents and just be aware of this uh, new wave of belittling people that work for people yes and maybe some, of course 
uh, it is highly recommended to have your own business. Yeah, yeah but course, like yeah. we said, there's something in theory and there's practical, yeah. uh, practical and reality. Not everyone's going to be able to achieve Barak that. Allah, even yeah. if you have your own business, you can have people that work <laughs> for, for you. you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Every, everyone's going to work, 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 work. I have to add this, by someone. the way. No, no, no. You know, it's needed because. No, no, it's important. Yeah. Because yeah. people say, ah, oh, he's just, you just, IT is just working for people. It's not success. It no. is success, alhamdulillah. I mean, the thing is, if you if you didn't have that IT engineer, that, you know, when you have a problem with your internet, <laughs> who are you going to get to fix it? <laughs> if you don't have the barber, who are you just going to cut your hair? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have the butcher, who's going to give you the meat? It's but and then, but you can't belittle these, yeah, um, yeah. The, the, these, these, these jobs as well. But um, yeah. no, that's very good. And I think, I think. The, the, Sorry, Afwan, you yeah. know, on, on that on that note, actually, people, subhanAllah, and they, they glorify drug dealers, you know, yeah. and musicians. Yes. And yeah, and musicians. Yeah, and 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 yeah, that's yeah, a very good You know, point, maybe yeah. a person that may have earned their, their living through riba, you know, mm. and subhanAllah, they don't see the dangers of these things, but these jobs are more honorable and, and, and more, you know, pleasing to Allah, subhanAhu wa ta'ala. You can see, mm. see subhanAllah, mm. Ahmed, and Ahmed. When mm. you don't have a guideline, Quran and Sunnah, mm. you will contradict yourself. Yeah. Uh, like, you uh, have you have people who say, you know, uh, about uh, uh, I want a, a virgin woman, I want a righteous woman. But on the other hand, he glorifies women that put themselves out there, Allah. singers mm. who walk half naked and so on. So you're creating yourself. <laughs> yeah. Barakallah You so, yeah. see, subhanAllah. So uh, that's why, you know, uh, sometimes some people, maybe even non muslim they have some truth with them. But because they don't have a, a, a Quran and Sunnah, mm. they will mix their truth with the falsehood. So, yeah. Understand. And especially in the, in, the, in this society, the, the 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 people that are glorified are the worst of society. <laughs> like, you know, the, you, the the the, the yeah. rappers, yeah. and I mean, they're, they're glorifying um, uh, you know uh, crime and. Sunun or sinin khadaat. There will come years, deceiving years. You sadaqu fiha al kathib, wa you kadabu fiha al sadiq. The liar will be held as a truthful person. Mm. And a truthful person, people will hold him as a liar. Yeah. A foolish mind person will be speaking on behalf of the people. Mm. Another narration, Nabi said, will come a time mm. that the dunya, the, the hour will not be established until the happiest person with this world will be foolish person with the son of the foolish person. And the reality that we are glorifying people are foolish. You know, barakallah. Yeah, I mean, evil, you know, yeah. people that don't don't really uh, contribute beneficially to what society. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 no, they're damaging. They're damaging, damaging society, society. Yeah, and damaging kind of the country. youth. And, and people are, you know, openly yeah. advertising them and glorifying them. And subhanallah. And you see, even people nowadays, they do a little small video. You know, it has nothing to do with music, but they put music in the background. So yeah, you're, you're yeah, it could that. be an Islamic <laughs> video. Yeah, <it's laughs> do you know what is worse? Subhanallah. Mm. Uh, uh, what's happening now? That people making videos, I saw a video of this young man going to old man just shouting next to his ear. Yeah. Okay. Pretend like he's speaking a yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. No, I, exactly. I don't like it for my father. Yeah, Someone yeah, do this yeah, for my yeah, father. Yeah. 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 And people that, repost it and share it and they're laughing at it as if it's funny. Mm. But so yeah. what, what, what is happening now, our shabab out there, you have to be careful. Because sometimes they say, it was just fun. Yeah, it's just fun. But would you like it for your mother? Someone come and just start shouting next to her ear. No. Suspect, would you not like you do not you will not like it for your mother or your father? Mm. So yeah, these kind of pranks and things. Yeah, this and, and, and prank culture. Prank people on, yeah. Yeah. Putting people on, on video without permission, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's one. Of, actually, that's one of the things <laughs> I, I think. Subhanallah. I hope no one you know tries that. Subhanallah. Man. Yeah, Putting, subhanallah just man, recording people and, and yeah, just recording them. people and just put yeah, mocking yeah. them and, and you know using yeah. them as as, as you know. Yeah. Tool to clickbait to and, uh, and get, getting uh, getting views and stuff. I mean, I think I think the, the the one thing just to go sort of go back around to the points that you're mentioning around. Um, I mean, this uh, this example that you gave of of uh, one individual suffering from mental health that you uh, that, that through um, um, you know facilities and obviously by the topic of Allah, it was it was able to um, recover. Um, so that's that's very good because I think it kind of dispels uh, and obviously the other work that you do as well kind of dispels the the kind of the, the bit of a myth that, that I see and I hear about maybe you hear it as well of like you know practicing people especially people that are you know practicing uh, uh, according to the Quran and Sunnah uh, upon the understanding of the Sahaba and, and the pious predecessors that that they are kind of disconnected from from the, uh, community, from the community from the society they're just in the masjid so um, you know just just that's it they, no, you, you can't you can't talk to them, talk to them yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll give you a, a no, screw face so. <laughs> they'll check your yeah, uh, child's how low yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no it's untrue I think subhanAllah I think for me personally and uh, a few other brothers that, that I work with I think it's just sometimes 
when you do these kind of things, you don't really want to be out there. So, Absolutely. I mean, for me personally, anyway, I, don't, I don't like being, you know, in, in, in the front of anywhere or, you know, showing and speaking about and showing. Alhamdulillah, I mean, for the long years, obviously the brothers are around me. And but isn't it the, Ahmed? You just said... said it's, 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 no, it's, they do, they do. And I you're mean, one of them yeah, as well. But just, just... Uh, <laughs> no, I think, no, but the, I think it's I a think struggle. The, it's a struggle, the, I think. The, the, the organisation needs to be uh, in the No, no, in the, the organisation definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, no, definitely. I mean, yeah. e even with that, like I said, inshallah, maybe we're trying to make uh, that, that change now, you know, to be to, to, to show the services that we do and you know on on a bigger sort of platforms and no but I understand know, so where you're coming see. from is is, is yeah. you, you don't you don't um, you, you you're doing it inshallah for the sake of Allah inshallah, so you don't man. you don't really want to be uh, you know in the, in in the forefront yeah. and and that kind of thing but yeah. uh, you know alhamdulillah as we may, I think mentioned in one of the other episodes about utilizing social media to yeah, to, to yeah, obviously to uh, benefit um, uh, people yeah. and, and and this is one one of the reasons why you know I, I invited you here as well. I think it's been uh, it's been a very um, very beneficial discussion. Uh, some very um, very good points uh, being mentioned by by both of you. So um, yeah. thank you very much for that. Uh, but I think um, maybe if if uh, if I want to hear some concluding uh, points from uh, from 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 both of you, maybe start with you, Ahmed. No, um. no. Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah khair. It was Alhamdulillah khair for having me and um, for this for this opportunity. I think um, in terms of a a, a closing closing um, comments, mm. um, I'd like to mention. Generally, when we see, you know, people uh, advising youth, uh, you see a lot of, um, you know, people maybe talking about their, you know, their, their background or history of, you know, some of the things that they've been through. And, and a lot of the stories that you, you see out there, I think, as an example for mm -hmm. the youth is people who may have, you know, fallen into, into things or, yeah. you know, failed in certain aspects of their youth and gotten into trouble with police and, you know, drugs or whatever it may be. Um, in general, I think it's important to know or, or to show, inshallah, maybe more examples of any uh, that you don't have to, uh, you know, fall, fall into that. You don't have to go uh, through a difficult period like that and then, you know, learn learn from mm. that and and recover. Uh, and alhamdulillah, there's there's many, you know, um, many of the youth that we work with uh, now who are in their, you know, mm. late sort of mid twenties that have, we we were training from when they were younger at football or some of the mentoring programs or a madrasa. Alhamdulillah, they've they've you know stayed away from you know crime and gangs. And, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, yeah. yeah, and 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 it can it can happen. You know, you okay. don't have to you don't have to join you know the local gang or you know be, <laughs> yeah. be part of the the, the street <laughs> problems that 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 you, you know. If I like give you half year, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. no, no, just saying it's it's commonly. And no, it's very common. Yeah, there's there's common. a lot of stories if you see on YouTube. There's always you know someone talking about their background and what they went through and mm -hmm. you know the rough life and tough life and etc. <laughs> So I think sometimes it's it's it's, it's you know uh, inshallah for the youth to be to be patient and and you know take the means that that are provided to them in terms of support, especially yeah. if, uh, some of the things that we provide locally and also maybe in wherever other areas you know that that you know that the youth reside. In, inshallah, look for the you know the help you know support from the mosque, masajid, um, youth services. You know, inshallah, particularly those of of you know uh, you know from from Islamic background. Alhamdulillah. And, yeah. and and follow those that, that advice inshallah and you know those years would pass of your youth and you will see the fruits inshallah when when you do enter your adult life inshallah yeah alhamdulillah no, that's very very good advice um and as for, uh, Shamsi, <laughs> any, as any for me i just will conclude with the hadith of mustafa alayhi salatu was salam yes. nabi alayhi salatu was salam yes. said yes. there's seven types of people allah will cover them with the shade of his throne subhanahu wa ta'ala one of them shabun tarara ala ta'atillah أو تربى أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام a young boy that been raised upon the obedience of Allah سبحانه وتعالى may Allah سبحانه وتعالى protect us from the evil of this life and the year after so the day of judgment when the sun will be close to mankind then Allah will cover this person the seven types of people I've mentioned but the shahid from this hadith is شابون ترعرع a young boy it's been raised upon the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, uh, uh, what I advise my young brothers out there, like Brother Ahmed mentioned, you don't have to go through that crazy lifestyle. And tough, sisters. You know, and sisters as well. Mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, like I mentioned many times about my crazy lifestyle, Alhamdulillah, Allah protect me. But I always used to admire brothers that always to go to masjid or young brothers or young sisters that always, you see mm -hmm. them like, practicing mm. uh, I said I wish I was like them you know Subhan always subhanallah mm. I used to look up to them <coughs> you know when I lived that lifestyle I never used to look up to other uh, uh, robbers or drug dealers no I used to look up to uh, brothers who are practicing because yeah. it's a ni'mah to be the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
So don't be deceived. There's no, you're not missing nothing from this dunya. Don't mm -hmm. think, oh, because I'm practicing, you know, everything's haram for me. No, alhamdulillah. Wallahi, the, the, uh, these people who are smoking drugs, doing haram, when they are, you see them happy, is the happiness is fake. Mm. Wallah, it's fake. It's illusion, yeah. You know, it's illusional. But the true happiness, when you are a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, praying, following the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah guide our brothers and sisters, Allah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. protect our young brothers and sisters from the evil of this life and the hereafter. Mm. Wallah ta'ala azu alam. I, th I think I think just just to, just to quickly add on to that I think it's it's um <coughs> it's, it's 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 important to to know obviously that the 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 narrations um and the hadith they, they emphasize on actions that are consistent right consistent actions mm -hmm. even if they are small so, so so if someone remains consistent then it's then it's good uh, for, for them so it's 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 but it's even name. if you uh, mm -hmm. Allah, you fall into uh, haram or something don't give up no. No. alhamdulillah yes alhamdulillah mm -hmm. you know Keep trying. All of us, we are trying. So All of us, keep okay. trying. And astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. And uh, until we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, we'll put Islam in the sunnah. All right. Jazakallah khair. Thanks, Thanks, for, Thanks for coming Jazakallah again. Jazakallah khair. We'll conclude with that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair.